It's a shocking statistic, one that could endanger millions of babies across the country. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, roughly 84% of child restraint systems are critically misused. You're probably asking yourself this morning, am I using my car safety seat correctly? We'll figure it out this morning. Doing it right, of course, is the focus of a piece in the November issue of American Baby Magazine. Senior Lifestyle Editor Jessica Hart showing here this morning to talk to us all about it. Jessica, good morning Hi, to you. Good morning. You know, when I found out we were talking about this, I asked myself, so wait a minute, we talk about this an awful lot. Are car seats misused this often? They really are. They're hard, harder to install than you think. You think you just sit it in the back seat, but uh, you really have to get it in tightly and correctly in the right position. And you want to start with a new car seat, which is the sort of the number one thing we try to impress uh, on parents because they it, the temptation is to take a hand-me-down or your neighbors or your older child's car seat but they get better every year trust me because I've been covering this for like 12 years now <laughs> and every year the technology gets better the the side impact protection is so much better than it used to be the materials they use are more sophisticated you are safest with a brand new car seat that hasn't been used before also because they're made of like plastic and, and um, a safety foam that degrades over time they actually have like an expiration between six to nine years and then they're they're, they're considered expired there's also uh, older car seats have been through some recalls so my first request is that if you, if at all possible, buy a new seat. And if you are going to take a hand-me-down, really look into, uh, call the manufacturer and make sure it hasn't been recalled. All right, so we'll go through the five most important <coughs> things to think about before right. buying a new car seat or before buckling okay. your baby. And we've got number right. one, and that's thinking the about where seat. that car seat's coming from. Right, yeah. so number two, <laughs> car seat supposed to be rear-facing yes. and, and consider how it's tilted. Right, they, um, it needs to be at about a 45 degree angle. If your child's sitting straight up, um, their, their head flops down, you know, and it, it can actually be a suffocation risk. You need it, them tilted back a little. And the newest car seats will have a guide on there that will tell you that it's tilted in sort of a green zone that is correct. It's getting a little nippy outside. You think about before you're going out and putting the baby in the car, you dress them up into a little Eskimo, right. buckle them the in <laughs> in the back seat, right? And that, then the car seat's not working. Exactly. Right? That, that's not the best idea. Right. You don't put them in the snowsuit and then loosen the harness. You, um, Dress them normally in a long sleeve but tight fitting shirt and then uh, get them in the harness nice and tight. Put a blanket over them. That's the safest way to do it. Where's the best place in the back seat, by the way, to put the baby? Mm -hmm. Rear facing and in the middle of the back seat if you have one child. Um, again, because of the side impact thing, they're safest in the middle. But if you have more than one child, you know, on the side is okay too. And, and if you just want to make sure that you did everything right, because we, we're talking about it on TV this morning, of right. course there are some folks that have some questions, you can get answers. Yes, uh, the fire stations, police stations, a lot of places have certified safety inspectors and they're, it's free to get a car seat check. You can look at um, a website called seatcheck.org and you put in your zip code and it'll tell you where to go. It's really great to do while you're pregnant actually and, and have them make sure it's nice and secure before you even drive that baby home from the hospital. But whatever stage you're in, if you just got a new seat or a booster seat, uh, it always pays, well, pay you because it's free. Right. Go get it checked yeah, and favorite, have the peace of mind. My favorite four letter word, exactly. <laughs> and the peace of mind. You know what? Yeah. We've got to lower that statistic. And thank you so much for stopping by this morning All to right. give those tips. Jessica Hartshorn from American Baby, mm -hmm. thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thanks.